Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker, the Witcher Tales. We're in the little village of Elsterberg, and we just picked up an elven companion. We didn't get any names, so uh, maybe let's check out the mess tent. Let's see if we can talk to the man. We can't. He's not actually somebody we can talk to. Can we talk to Reynard some Grace? more? Or not? No. No. It's There's nothing I to talk about, to apparently. Matches. I'm assuming this is going to fill up later on, but still, still, still empty for now. So with that done, I suppose we can just carry on our way. And now we have a little bit of loot and a notice board. This might be interesting. Let's check that out. And that opens up a bit of loot over there and a point of interest to the east. So let's check that out then immediately. This is the village of... Is this a village? Can you give me the name of the village? No, don't get These the name. Enemy made moves. Way to the place the prisoners had indicated, a quaint village named Turnifen. And indeed, soon a cloud of dust appeared on the horizon. A large enemy force approached. We await your order, Your Grace. Reynard peered at Meave expectantly. So Turnifen, order your men to attack or wait for the Nilfgaardian force to pass. Well, those are the reinforcements that we heard about uh, two episodes ago. So the plan was to cut them off and kill them before they could reach the rest of the army. So let's order our men to attack. We could not let this opportunity pass. The Nilfgaardians marched on, oblivious to the threat. As soon as they found themselves within range, she signaled her arbalists to loose their bolts, then led her cavalry in a charge. At them! Follow me! Geop! And there we go. So that's probably going to be no a shortened battle. The hiss of bowstrings, then a moment later Nilfgaardians fall to the dirt. Cries catching in their throats, the Lyrians hollered in triumph. Alas, their celebration proved premature. The second salvo struck naught but Pavis' shields, emblazoned with the golden sun. Meave rasped at the curse. Despite the advantage of surprise, it seemed victory would not come easy. Capture three Imperial caravans. We have special rules. So we don't just need to win, we need to capture three Imperial Caravans. Okay, let's see what we can do. We're gonna use the Arbalests, definitely. So let's swap out the Field Medic, since it's only one round. There's not gonna be much in our graveyard. Hmm, I think I can use Caldwell along with the Decoy to trigger him twice, which would be nice. And then maybe one less Arbalest to just... Oh, okay. Yeah, let's finish redrawing. Or not? No, let's get the Wagenberg away because I don't like. Yeah, there we go. Finish redrawing. At them! Valyria! Ooh, 50 armor. Holy cow. Whenever this unit is attacked, move it one row towards the opponent. If on the opponent's side, reduce its timer by one each turn. When the timer runs out, remove cell from the battlefield. So you need to attack those things. So I could have used the, Wagen the Wagenberg actually. Um, but yeah, never mind. Let's start filling out some rows and see what we can do with that. So we just need to get maybe the Arbalest actually just as quickly as possible on the field. So if you do just I'm this, awesome. attack once, it moves closer. Then we use Meave's ability and get one of the drummers up front. Because we're going to have to start stacking those. And that's the second time on the same row. There we go. What can that guy no do? No. Ah. So he just boosts... Uh, yeah, resilience is nothing. Every turn on turn starts. It's an Elfgarden commander. Give one armor to a random Imperial caravan. It's on the opponent's side. Move it one row away from the opponent. Okay, so it did just give armor. If three Imperial caravans are seized by Meave's army, surrender. Okay, interesting. So I don't need to do much damage, I just need to start again, doing again, damage again. in multiples. Must be and it gives another one armor, so that means one of ours will just reduce its timer again. Uh, then we can use the regiment drummer to get another regiment drummer out. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Then get um, an arbalest out. Again, damage doesn't really matter at the moment. So let's just do that. And damage that one. And then use the 
Oh, no, I wanted to use the ability. Sorry, just press the button. 102, 103. So that's one wagon that's ours now. Damn it, I don't want to use the ability, Meave's ability. Um, can you scan Caldwell to get in between these guys? If you insist. And then get another drummer. Left, right. And another Left, arbalest. Right. Down. That moves towards our turf. And then we get another arbalest from Give the me. deck. And then just keep damaging those things. And use Meave Warhammer. To actually get another drummer up there as well. So there we go. The rest of the arbalest is just damage those guys, which is fine. And now we can end the turn. So he did get one of the wagons back, but that's not too big of a problem. I'm just gonna use decoy. Do I actually have? Yeah, I have a regiment drummer. I'm just gonna use decoy to get Count Caldwell over here. And then I can't play him just yet, but I can use the regiment drummer to get another regiment drummer out. Again and again and again. And end the turn. That's gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that in a second. Now, how did that organization go? Okay, so that means I should use Meave's ability first, because I do want to get Raynard out of here. So let's use Meave Warhammer. Give Raynard a chance. That gives us more damage output, but sadly not on the correct units. Now we can use the Regiment Drummer to get Raynard out of there. Company! Forward march! Get... Uh, called well out in a minute, not just yet. I'm just gonna use the forager to destroy Reynard. I only lose corpses, except sometimes they're quite fresh. There we go, and that should be it for now. So we're gonna get this Imperial caravan, but we're gonna have to do more work to get the other one. Um, let's end the turn. Did that just... I think I got our second... Does it actually show, show somewhere that we have those uh, wagons? Because I only have one wagon in my, uh, my deck there. Um, hmm. Let's use Neve's ability and see what we can. I think I have one more Arbalest. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Did I just attack... Come on, did I not get the Imperial Caravan out of there? Okay. Oh, because my row is filled. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this. Let's restart it. And uh, see you guys at the end of that uh, battle. I kind of fucked up there. So I'm doing a lot better this time. So I'm hoping I get lucky and this one stays over here for a bit. So I damaged one twice, so it's on the back row. Uh, and I sadly don't actually have any units that... Oh. Ooh, that might be an idea. So I think I, if I use the Forager to destroy that, would that actually work? So the back one is, is definitely mine now. But if I use... Because I think I put an Arbalest up top. If I use the Regiment Drummer now, get the Arbalest down, attack the Imperial Caravan, and destroy the Imperial Caravan with my Forager... Oh. Ashamed to let oh. Okay, I took the correct one this time, luckily. But I feel like I'm gonna not have enough to get that last one to me. Because uh, I can't redeploy. You know what? I can get one of the Arbalests back now. So if I just get an Arbalest back in my hand. And then use Meave's ability in the next turn. Might be able to force him down two rows if I'm lucky. Let's just end the turn. He goes over there, so he gets it back. And now I have four chances that I might actually hit the 
wagon by chance. So let's just get whatever out. Maybe even just a little in a little incitement. There we go. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay. So that means I'm gonna save up for when that actually happens. I'm coming, I'm coming. There we go. Filled up that row. And down we go. So points-wise, I'm winning this. I don't know if I need to get that uh, those three caravans on my turn, but there we go. Me Warhammer again, just to fire off again. No, they're just all going... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So that means I got them. Because I can damage them now. Oh, my back row is full. Okay, never mind. We'll see if, if I win anyway. Because it's going to take it back right now. Yeah. Okay. Splendid! One last push now! Not a black lad to remain within sight of Dravagrad! Okay, we just had to win, so apparently not that big of a problem that I that we didn't get three wagons. Thus Meave led her force to victory. Historians would later term this encounter the Battle of Turnifen. Those Nilfgaardians who survived it spoke of a terror on the field. A woman warrior in gilded armor spattered with blood. Her blows so powerful as to pierce the heaviest breastplate, the thickest buckler. The Lyrians now set off toward Dravagrad, buoyed by the vision of their foe expecting reinforcements, friendly banners on the horizon, none of which would ever arrive. Buoyed by the vision of their foe expecting reinforcements, friendly banners on the horizon. Okay, so the, the, the enemies that were expecting their... Uh... The reinforcements which never arrive, which of course is nice. So let's gather the reinforcements from the battlefield. Black clads may outnumber us, but we're the more cunning with the wit. Indeed. That's how you killed black clads with swarms of bolts from the thicket and pitfalls neath their feet. Yeah. I'm sure, their armor's black, but their blood flows red. Indeed, well, it does. Only one life to live. I'll march with you. Don your colors. We'll chase them black clads back across the Yaruga. Oh, that's cool. I love how when you deplete some characters, some NPCs as uh, dialogue, you just get a, a little something out of it. You just get a little bit of a little bit of a bonus. I think we should be able to get yeah, there's wood over there, and I still haven't found what that. Um, treasure chest was supposed to be that one map. I'm gonna have to return for that one day because I don't think it's right over here. But let's talk to this farmer over here. Your Majesty, the owner of this estate, has demanded recompense for wartime damages. He claims you failed in your royal duty to protect his land from the Nilfgaardian invasion. He's right, the fault is mine, or he'll receive what is owed. Lashes in a place for him and his family in my army. Um. I don't think I need the recruits and I have a bit of money left so let's just get the morale up and let's get that to green. I'm just gonna pay the man because he's whining apparently. Oh. Okay, let's have a little chat with this nun. Pagans, idolaters who prostrate themselves to the sun. Curse you, sons of Nilfgaard. Mongrels, tear your flesh and gnaw your bones. Curse oh. you, sons Yeah, okay, yeah, she's Nilfgaard. gonna keep yelling. Mongrels, she's gonna keep yelling. I'm just gonna check to the east here, through the trees. Oh, and this is where the... Yeah, this is it. This is where the treasure is buried. That's totally not... Or maybe that's the temple. That might be the temple. So let's open that up and we get... Another fancy border we can use in Gwent. Thank you very much. Another chest opened. Treasure. And there's more resources over here as well. So let's move on. So let's cross this bridge to the north here. Because it feels like we're heading into a totally new area. So uh, just gathering more supplies along the way. There's a shrine here. I'm going to just wait. Uh, because I can't actually... Yeah, I can't go higher with my morale. So let's just check this out. Your Majesty, a landslide on the road blocks our passage. The men could clear the way on your orders, though they are clearly wary from marching and battle. Um, none shall rest while Nilfgaard defiles our home. Let them complain, put them to work. So let's just do that and pray over here. And that should get us back to green. 
kind of cheating the system, I think, but uh, just pray after you've uh, abused... Ooh, slow back rut and everything turned dark all of a sudden. Oh, gold. Are the Nilf Guardians battling a troll? A dark shadow suddenly cut across the sky. The Queen instinctively brought her shield up, convinced a Nilf Guardian catapult had lobbed a boulder their way. When the boulder landed in the road ahead, it smashed into splinters and proved an empty barrel. This is what they cast at us. Barrels. Is this some jest? Well, they're not known for their sense of humor, the Nilf Guardians, answered Reynard. Meave stood in her stirrups, squinted, peered into the distance, and let out a hearty chortle. For the battle had been chortle. by neither catapult nor trebuchet, but by a rock troll consumed by fury. Okay. A company of Nilfgaardian soldiers had pitched camp by the cave the troll called home. <laughs> yeah, they're getting their asses kicked. Command your force to help the troll. <laughs> yes. Troll or non-troll, said the queen, drawing her sword. None deserve to die at Nilfgaard's hands. Follow me. We're gonna help out a troll. Okay, this is awesome. People often... Oh, it's Shoop! It's Shoop! It's from Shoop from the... It, uh, it's actually Shoop! Holy crap! People often disregard trolls upon seeing their clumsy movements and hearing their awkward, crooked sentences. They conclude that trolls serve as no real threat, beasts easily outwitted or outrun should the need arise. But the Nilf Guardians would soon realize the falseness of these assumptions and learn the high price for their mistake. Win the battle without letting Shoop die or be captured, with special rules and it's a shortened battle. So we need to win without letting Shoop die. Fair enough, we have plenty of ways to boost units. Um, the field medic, medic is not going to be useful here. Two drummers and the Rivian pikemen, yeah, we're fine. Naren, to the Force shoop. Yeah, for Shoop. So Shoop, if you don't know Shoop, uh, Shoop Protect is the, the vendor in the Gwent uh, game, the, the Gwent standalone game. So uh, Shoop, every two turns on turn start, if the sum of both adjacent units is even, Damage all units on the opposite row by one, then move to the other row. If all the damage all units on this row by one, including self, then move to the other row. So we need to stay even next to him. Fair enough, I suppose. So let's get a drummer out of there. Again and again and again. And use Meave to get a drummer up front ah! as well. There we go. The sum of both adjacent units power, so I don't know if there needs to be anything uh, right next to it then. Wise oh, the choice. assassin! What's the assassin doing? Every turn on turn start damage the highest power enemy unit by 5 if its power is an even number. Okay, so that's playing with numbers a bit. And then we get the regiment drummer out. He's 10, so let's just um, he's put him time right for there. So that's even, so he's gonna damage the other side. And then we need to put something on the field as well. Let's do another drummer for now. Left, right, left, and then the turn. right. Order! So that assassin is really annoying. I'm gonna have to take uh, damage an enemy by two whenever an ally appears, gain one charge. So if I wanna... Take out these guys. I'm gonna have to be careful. So Shoop must stay alive. Definitely Shoop should stay alive. Cannot target bosses. Okay, and Shoop is a boss, so I can't use decoy to get uh, Shoop back. So I'm gonna have to heal him with uh, other ways. Let's use the forager on one of those things. One then. man's battlefield is another man's right patch for harvest. Five damage. And end the third. Ah, yes, okay, the guardians um, are panicking. The troll. It's a bit unpredictable. Yes, it is. Move the lowest enemy next to this unit. Whoa, wait, wait, where the, where the hell did that go? He used something, but I didn't see what happened. Deploy, move the lowest enemy next to this unit and lock it. Move the enemy back to its side and remove its lock. Why, why didn't... Why didn't he play that? He just 
put that away. I could use Caldwell to get around that. A lesson in humility. So let's just Coming use now. the Forager to burn that one as well. And then use Meave to get another Arbalest. You know what? Another drummer. Another drummer. There we go. And that takes out one of those guys. And end the turn. I don't know why that happens with those slave hunters. They keep for some reason... Oh, because he wants to put it on my row, but he can't. Okay, so now Shoop is the lowest unit. He's going to get 15 health points or 18 health points. Yeah, because uh, the Sightman over there is better. So let's end the turn. And Shoop is really in his element. Yeah, keep damaging if you want to, but uh, it's not going to help you out. Uh, in the slightest. Let's get a decoy. Can I actually do something useful with the decoy? I can actually. Can get one of the foragers back. And then use Meave Warhammer to trigger a lot of abilities. Uh, let's get that. Drummer is fine. And you know what? I have seven units on each rogue, so I can still get a bit of units on there. Again, so let's get the drummer again. over there and end the turn. God! There we go, we got more damage. But I'm gonna take that out in a second because I want to use the regiment drummer to get an Arbalest down. Take down that guy. Then we use another Arbalest to take Give out the time. other guy, so he stops attacking Shoop, and the turn. The Shoop is a nice guy, even though he damages all my units constantly. That's good, making a bit more space. Then we have the Forager. Getting on, you know what, no, let's use the Arbalest first. On, I don't know, Arbalest it's 9 damage. Command. So might as well put it on that one. Then use the Meave ability. Uh, doesn't really matter at the moment. Just get all that out of there. And for some reason that went back to my row. That was not what I wanted, but... Anywho! Give all allies immune. That's, uh... That's not good. Then we use... The Lyrian Horn. And the turn. We get damaged again. But then, yeah, I can't use my last card. I do, however, can use me Warhammer ability again. And there we go. And then just waste the Forager card. And end the battle. There we go. Shoop was still alive. There we go. Shoop is still alive. That was cool. We have one of the, the characters the from uh, Gwent in there. The Guardian Force. The troll, having grown suddenly pensive, gazed and picked at the invaders' corpses. <sighs> Clad in black humans, no good humans. Just so, uh, Sir Troll. The North Guardians are a devious lot. Our land they've attacked most treacherously. Uh, clad in blacks, humans hard. Why no good humans? Big lot armor. Shoe got to. Uh, try morsel of human, you wish? <laughs> Do you want some human meat, he's asking. Do you know to whom you speak? This is Her Majesty, your queen. Okay, calm down, Reynard. Greeting, your queen. Shoop is me. Shoop is me. There, there, Reynard. I believe I can manage this. Say, Shoop, you've quite the stockpile of kegs. Do you engage in custom, perhaps? No. Kegs good for smash smash when Shoop angry gets. Ah, uh, but the uh, costume engaging. That. What mean? Please, please let them join the army. Please let them join the army. Mm, it means... Well, 
to trade one thing for another, at a profit. One thing for other? For... 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 for, for glitter rocks, even? Yes, because that's what we use. We use Ore and Gwen to buy cans, yes. so that makes if sense. if you play your cards right, you might just convince someone to pay you in rocks. Cards. Cards. Kegs. Trade. Glitter rocks. Oh, shoop plan god. Shoop gotta go. Oh no, come on, Shoop. A, a four human go. Shoop human give. Your queen aid give. Your queen aid get. Okay. Ooh, this card has been added to your, com your army and can be found in the command belt. Elf and onion soup. The troll turned <laughs> on his heel and ran also. out of his cave. His destination known only to himself. As she moved to leave, a hunch told Meave the world would yet hear of this troll named Shoop. Yep, indeed, he did. indeed we did, Meave, indeed we did. Ah, oh, I love Shoop. And he's a really cool card in uh, Gwent as well, so that was why I was hoping he would join the army, but apparently not. Can't get into this cave, okay. So let's check that out. Elf and Onion Soup, create a bronze card. Spawn one of three randomly chosen cards from a specified faction and from neutral cards, unless otherwise specified. Okay, doesn't seem that useful. Although, you know what, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out, we'll see what happens with the Elf and Onion Soup. Might be that there, uh, that there are some fancy uh, things we can do with that. Um... Ah, uh, that's that for the command tent, so let's get back out and move towards the south and we have another travel marker. I think we kind of skipped that traveling band of people over here. Men in life, and each one in black plate and winged elm. Heard them little guardians got hearts of stone. No mercy for a single soul. Reinforcements from the capital, milady. Where are they? Why've we no protection? Good question. From the capital, yeah, good question. Where we still don't know that. Why have we no protection? Um, do you, does your cards contain anything? No, doesn't seem like it. So that's Shoop done. Let's go south and into the army group east camp. That looks dangerous to be passing by. This is another guardian camp. Why the hell are we here? We probably need to pass past that. But uh, that's going to have to wait until next episode because I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. But when we get back, we're going to well, do something with that giant Nilf Guardian camp, apparently. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.